if you down a duck, but it is wounded, not dead, you need to know how to dispatch it humanely and immediately. This video shows you how to humanely dispatch a wounded downed game duck using three recommended methods. Methods include swatter loads, cervical dislocation, and pithing. These methods minimize pain and stress to the duck. One-handed techniques used to dispatch ducks, such as windmilling, are not recommended and can cause unnecessary pain and suffering. Firing a swatter load is the quickest way to dispatch a downed duck. This is the most recommended method if it is safe to perform. Check there are no other people, animals or any kind of obstacle in the firing line. And always think about the potential for ricochet. The most effective steel shot sizes are numbers 5, 6 and 7 fired through the barrel with the tightest choke. Aim at the front half of the duck where its body meets the waterline. Always fire a swatter load from within 30 meters. If you see the duck is still alive, fire a second swatter load. Confirm the duck is dead by checking the vital signs. Are the eyes open and glazed? Is the duck's body and neck limp with no movement and drooping wings? Not breathing, no heartbeat? then you have effectively dispatched the duck. You can also perform the touch test. Place one finger on the duck's eyeball. If the duck does not blink, it is dead. If you are unable to use swatter loads, then you will need to ensure you can use two hands to dispatch a downed duck. This may mean you need to disengage your firearm safely by breaking the action open, removing any shotgun cartridges and securing it. If a recovered duck is still alive, you will need to render it unconscious to perform the pithing method or proceed immediately with cervical dislocation. A hard, heavy and blunt instrument is best, such as a fishing priest, metal pipe or a short rod and use enough force to make the duck unconscious with one blow to the head. The blow needs to land directly on top of the duck's skull. If the duck is still conscious, immediately strike it again. To use the cervical dislocation method, the duck can be either conscious or unconscious. Cervical dislocation separates the skull from the top of the spine. It results in instant death and is a humane way to dispatch a duck. Secure the duck firmly by holding the duck's legs above the hock in one hand and the duck's head in the other. Position the underside of the duck's body towards yours and secure the duck firmly close to your body between hip and chest height. Depending on the size of the duck, you can adjust the grip. For small ducks, such as a pink-eared duck, hold it firmly around the abdomen just above the hocks. For larger ducks, such as mountain duck, hold it near the top of the wing. With the other hand, grip the duck's head between your first two fingers and place your thumb under the bill. Position the duck's head bending backwards until it is almost at 90 degrees to its neck. With each hand, apply increasing force in opposite directions, stretching neck downwards and the legs upwards. At the same time, pull the head back towards the neck. This should be performed in a firm, single, swift motion until you feel the skull separate from the neck. Using your thumb and forefinger, Feel along the neck up towards the base of the skull for a clear separation between the neck bones and the skull. If you can't feel this separation or gap, immediately repeat the procedure. Confirm the duck is dead by checking the vital signs or performing a touch test. Another recommended dispatch method is the pithing method. Pithing should only be performed on an unconscious duck. Pithing is inserting a sharp, thick needle or metal probe into the base of the skull. Secure the duck firmly by holding the duck's bill with two fingers and placing your thumb at the back of the head. Find the soft spot at the back of the head. This is the gap between the base of the skull and the neck. With the pithing tool, pierce the skin through the soft spot. Angle the pithing tool upwards towards the top of the skull. This allows the tool to hit the brain and not go through the eye. After the tool is in the correct position, twist it around a few times to ensure the brain is destroyed. If you are using a commercially available product, make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for correct use. 
confirm the duck is dead by checking the vital signs or performing a touch test. By law, hunters must make all reasonable attempts to immediately recover downed game birds, dispatch the bird immediately and recover at least the breast meat. When you're out hunting, choose the method that best suits you. If you're unsure about which method to use, practice on a dead duck first. Always consider your safety and the safety of others.